Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. If you are new to my channel and this is the first video, welcome aboard. I hope you are inspired by some of my artwork. I hope that you enjoy my back catalogue. Um, as you know, I'm on a transition and flipping my channel in a positive way, uh, which means going back to doing what I enjoy doing and sharing the content I enjoy sharing with you. Uh, because I think that's what's going to bring out the best in me and hopefully you're going to get the authentic Sharon which is going to inspire you it's the circle of the art community which I absolutely love uh, historically on this channel known for resin art but I am not only a resin artist I enjoy my brushwork and that's where I'm slowly introducing but as usual I'm Sharon I digressed I wanted to share some amazing news with you oh my god behind the scene for a few months I have been going through interviews, meetings, soul searching with my Neil. And as you know, our children live in Australia. They chose to stay out there. We've been over here for six years. Uh, there's been health issues with family and it's been nice to be around my family and be back in the beautiful England. But our hearts have gone through so much trauma. Turmoil is the correct word with that loss of not being near your children, which was made it exacerbated because of COVID, because we've not been able to jump on a plane and see them every six months like we did before, uh, which we've been privileged to do. They either came to see us, we went to see them, but COVID meant we've not been able to see them. And we always knew we'd go back to Australia at some stage because when grandkids come, we want to be a part of it. But COVID has brought those plans closer and I have just successfully managed to secure a move to a different area with my work which is Australia Canberra <laughs> in four weeks baby four weeks me and my Neil just over four weeks actually we'll be on that plane jet setting back to Australia and you might say why Canberra why not is what I say uh, with Neil what kind of work he does we always knew we we're gonna to have to be that side of the world and I'm very fortunate the who I work with they're international I've gone through lots of interviews but I got there and I am so excited uh, because life's just about to change again for the better and it means we're going to get access to seeing the kids so much more easier they'll be able to come over for long weekends we'll be able to go over there if there's any issues we're there we're not waiting 24 hours and the cost of getting out to australia on a holiday but i've been researching canberra now it doesn't look like there's huge amounts to do on paper when you look at um activities but when you actually dig into it the countryside oh my god there's hills or mountains that surround you and picturesque views so lots of walks that we can do with the fur babies yes we will be taking Thor and Zeus over there we are currently trying to see if we can take the cats over there they're not necessarily as well received over there so we want to make sure we're doing the right thing for those fur babies if we're going to bring them over we want them to have the life that they have here which is freedom and um, and um, but we're gonna see so watch this space but oh my gosh oh, so that does mean that obviously my focus is on packing the house up sorting out stuff and getting ready so i plan to still do videos while i'm doing this but it'll probably be more vlogs blogs updates me rambling just to show where i am and at what stage we're at and um you might see less art out there resin and everything like that because i've got to use the bit of supplies that i've got i can't buy any more no point until i'm over there and um, i am trying to work out what's the stuff i want to ship with me because i will be shipping some of my art supplies with me so i can continue i think it's going to be more around um art journaling because that's going to get me through and then vlogging and then when my stuff meets me over there or our stuff meets us over there i think it can take a couple of months by uh, the boat so it, uh, and yeah and my Neil has to make sure that the fur babies are ready to come so he's going to go over with me we're going to settle in he's then probably going to do a bit back and forth until our babies are ready to come over there with us but oh my god I can't wait and I 
just wanted to share that with you all so i'm hoping it's going to inspire different kinds of art i'm hoping that you're going to enjoy coming on this move with me and if you're from camera i'm going to be joining you if you're not near camera you'll get to see it because i'm going to vlog it and i'm going to show you uh, the kind of things that's going to inspire me and my art anyway i just wanted to share it with you because there's so much been going on with the marriage <laughs> like and then flipping my art channel and now this big move is all impacting how I can get my content out here. But I'm sure you'll understand because real life comes first and being settled comes first and no one's going to be near our children. Um, even though they're adults and they probably won't want to hang out with us, knowing that we're near them makes us feel better. Uh, I, just, I just love where life is taking us and we're just on this journey and we're just willing to go with it wherever this journey is going to take us and it's going to energize our soul. I'm going to be so sad um, to say goodbye to the UK because the countrysides, the birds, the people and the humour. Don't forget the humour. And most of my family is this way. But we're going to plan and come back quite regularly uh, and see them. So, so that's all good. But I think being settled, being in a different area uh, is just going to ignite my inspiration for artwork and just life. And there is skiing, I believe, just two and a half miles, two and a half miles, two and a half hours drive away. So I believe you get two seasons, which I'm yet to find, which will be hot or cold, but skiing, never done it before. I'll do some uh, video of it because I'm sure I'm just going to fall in it. I'm not, I'm quite clumsy. <laughs> anyway, that's just the update from myself that I wanted to share with you. I hope wherever you are in the world, you are safe. If you are from Canberra or Australia, looking forward to seeing you if you're not and you want to see a little bit more about australia when i get there let me know i'll include that and if you want to know the countdown how i'm feeling what i'm up to and i can vlog that for you and keep you up to date but i hope that you stay with me on this journey i hope that you support me if i have to take a couple of weeks out for jetting to the other side of the world and for the first time ever oh my god oh my god oh my god we have had the privilege of um, going over business class uh, and it's on my bucket list. I've always wanted to do first class, never gonna happen, or business class just once in my life before I die. It's on my bucket list and I'm gonna go tick. Oh my God, I just can't wait. So yeah, this is all happening in April. Oh, just a couple of weeks away. Zeus, how are you feeling about that, mate? He's got no idea what's coming. Anyway. Bye bye. If you do want to see my artwork, have a look at my back catalogue. Hello, Thor. Shall we show you what they're up to? Shall we give you a little update? Here's a cutie. Here's a cutie. Come here. What you got? What is that that you've got in your mouth? A big mud and ball. What are you up to, Zeus? Hey? Have you got any idea what's happening to you? Hey? You've got no ideas, have you, what's going to happen? No, you don't. But you're coming with mummy. Here, Thor. 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 Come here, Thor. Thor. Come here. Come here. He's a cutie. Come here. Come here, Thor.